Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're discussing Robot Dreams. Robot Dreams takes the viewers on an emotional journey through the vibrant streets of 1984 Manhattan, where an unexpected friendship between a dog and a robot blossoms amidst the bustling cityscape. Directed by Pablo Berger and drawn inspiration from Sarah Varen's acclaimed comic, this Spanish-French animated tragic comedy definitely explores the themes of companionship, resilience, and the unexpected nature of existence. At its core, Robot Dreams is a poignant meditation on the essence of friendship and the profound impact of unexpected loss. The narrative unfolds with gentle grace following the heartwarming bond between the canine protagonist and their mechanical companion. However, their short-lived perfect world is shattered when tragedy strikes, leaving the robot stranded on a beach closed until the next summer. And as the seasons change and the characters grapple with separation, the film delves into the complexities of grief and the enduring power of hope. Berger's direction infuses a story with a sense of whimsy and melancholy, capturing the essence of life's highs and lows with excellent precision. I've heard it called like an animated past lives and I can understand the comparison. It's interesting how one can find fulfillment in life, even if it's not how we planned or expected. Think the umbrellas of Cherbourg or La La Land. We just never know which direction life is going to pull us and this is a great example of that. And while the animation style may appear simplistic at first, its understated beauty lies in its ability to evoke a full range of emotion without the need for any verbal dialogue. There's no dialogue in this. And all while doing it over a feature length, impressive nonetheless. It feels familiar, yet it feels refreshing in an era where every animated movie tries to outdo the last stylistically. And from the bustling streets of New York to the tranquil shores of the beach, each frame is embedded with a sense of nostalgia and longing, transporting the viewer back to that era of innocence and wonder. But despite its narrative strengths, Robot Dreams does have a few flaws. The pacing occasionally falters, specifically in the second act, meandering through a few repetitive sequences. It feels a bit uh, episodic, hitting that same emotional beat again and again, and I feel they could have reached that same impact while doing much less. Additionally, while the film is set against the backdrop of the 1980s, the time period isn't always clearly conveyed, and it could have benefited for some more overt clues. In fact, the numerous shots of the World Trade Center, the Twin Towers, and the recurring song, Earth, Wind and Fire's September, had me kind of wondering if it was going in a certain direction. Glad it wasn't though. But for me, the first time watching it, it wasn't really apparent that it was set in the 80s, so the numerous shots of the, the Twin Towers was a, a bit distracting. Nevertheless, Robot Dreams remains a touching and thought-provoking watch. For Lettergrid, it earns a commendable B+. Its nuanced exploration of friendship and resilience resonate deeply, offering viewers a captivating journey into the complexities of the human condition. It wasn't easy for me to find this movie, but if you can, definitely recommend watching it. For further viewing for another animated tale of friendship and self-discovery, The Iron Giant is an underrated classic that can captivate audiences of all ages. And for a whimsical exploration of life's joys and sorrows, consider watching Marcel the Shell with Shoes On, a delightful semi-animated film that celebrates the beauty of embracing the unexpected. Alright guys, as always, thanks for watching and see you on the next one.